847 right now. We are getting a behind the scenes look at a place that's doing cutting edge research to help save lives. Hundreds of Western New Yorkers work at the Thermo Fisher Scientific Center of Excellence for Cell Culture R&D on Grand Island. For many of us, we may not have heard of the place, but yeah. we've got more this morning as we take you behind the scenes there. News source Katie Alexander is live on the island. Good morning. Good morning, Jordan and Mel. There is some truly amazing technology here and some truly amazing work being done by all of the crews. If you were with us the last half hour, we were talking a lot about how they work with cell media, cell culture media. I didn't know that word, and Steve Gorfin is going to explain to me exactly what that is. He is the senior director of bioproduction research and development here. What are we talking about? Okay, hi Katie. So cells are the basic unit of life in any living organism. And cell culture media is basically an artificial environment that we use in order to be able to grow cells outside of the body. But why do that? So there's several reasons why you might want to grow cells outside the body. Uh, one is to understand how they work. And if we can understand what's going on inside the cells, then we can use the cells as little factories, for example, to produce virus so that we can make vaccines and th those will prevent diseases from happening. Or we can use the cells to um, express proteins and the proteins can be used to treat existing diseases like certain forms of cancer or enzyme deficiencies. Uh, the third reason why you might want to use cells outside the body is where the cells themselves are the product. So the cells are harvested from a patient they're modified in some way to be able to treat a cancer, or attack a cancer cell, and then inject it back in the body. And we've seen that sort of technology, that sort of work, becoming blockbuster cancer treatment drugs even recently. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really a hot topic right now. And we're, in, in fact, involved in looking at how cells function inside the cells. And we're doing some of that work in collaboration with the University of Buffalo at their Center of Excellence for Bioinformatics and uh, Life Sciences core facility downtown. And the idea is that by having a better understanding of what's going on inside the cells, we can look at the metabolic pathways and put things in the media that get the cells to do what we want them to do. And it's making a huge difference for a lot of people really all over the globe, but even people right here at this site benefiting from the research that's been done here. We'll be talking more about that coming up in the next half hour. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. Really fascinating stuff, Katie. Thank you. Let's get an update on your forecast. Five